In this session, we're going to walk through the process of creating a new item. From my home menu, I'm going to click on items. The, the presentation of my item list can be changed by clicking on the buttons on the top. I can look at a list of items, large pictures, or small pictures. In this case, we're going to add a new item. So I'm going to click on the new button on the top of the item list. The system is automatically assigned 1002 as my new item number. For additional information on how the system assigns numbers to new records in the system, please refer to our session on setting up and managing number series. In this case, I'm going to create a new item, so I'm going to create a 19-inch UltraScan monitor. I'm also going to define the type of the item. If it's an it's either an inventory item or a service. Uh, obviously if I want to keep track of quantity on hand uh, I'll set this up as an inventory item. Next is the base unit of measure. Now, this is the primary unit of measure that I want to track my my costs and prices and quantities inside the system. So I'll select pieces. And lastly, I can select if I whether or not I want to receive a stock out warning when entering orders or quotes for this new item. If I have a list price, I can enter the list price uh, for this item right here. And if I have a, an expected cost for this item, I can enter that uh, here. There are several additional fields here, including general product posting group, inventory posting group, and some additional replenishment fields. In order to populate those fields quickly and accurately, I'm going to select under my actions ribbon 